It is a case that has rocked Canton to its core. So what's next? Reed pleaded not guilty to second degree murder, manslaughter while operating under the influence and leaving the scene of personal injury and death. Her defense claimed there was a cover up and argued that O'Keefe was beaten up, bitten by a dog and dragged outside. Our team coverage on where this goes from here begins tonight with Emily Maha live outside the courthouse with that breaking news about Trooper Proctor. Emily. Well, John Maria Trooper Michael Proctor took the stand during this trial, reading what he described as the regrettable and unprofessional text he sent about Karen Reed while working as the lead investigator on this case. Tonight, he's been relieved of duty just hours after a mistrial was declared. This is Trooper Michael Proctor on the stand during the trial, where he reads the crude and vulgar texts he sent during the murder investigation and admitted to drinking with a brother of a witness. Tonight, state police say he's being removed from the Norfolk County District Attorney State Police Detectives Unit just hours after a mistrial was declared. Your service is complete. I'm declaring a mistrial in this case. The six women and six men tasked with deciding the fate of Karen Reed say they were deeply divided at an impossible impasse. Reed is accused of hitting her Boston police officer boyfriend John O'Keefe with her SUV and leaving him in the snow to die. Our David Beenick covering the trial gavel to gavel, watching as jurors left the courthouse one last time. They filed out, uh, most of them, in fact, all of them had their heads down, some with stern looks on their faces. At least a couple of them looked like they were angry and frustrated. Inside the courtroom, John O'Keefe's mother looked down, wiping her nose as Karen Reed hugged her father. Reed and her attorney speaking on the courthouse steps, condemning prosecutors. They failed. They failed miserably and they'll continue to fail. John O'Keefe's family and supporters walking down the same steps saying nothing. In a statement, the district attorney says they will retry the case and thanked O'Keefe's family saying, quote, they maintained sight of the true core of this case to find justice for John O'Keefe. As for Trooper Michael Proctor, state police say he is relieved of duty effective immediately. That means he is still technically employed by the department, but cannot work cases or function as a trooper.